Welcome, my dear Capricorns, to your July messages from Spirit Reading. We're going to go ahead and see all the messages that Spirit has for you at this time. Just remember, if the messages that come through do not resonate with you, not to worry. Just go ahead and look at your Moon rising and Venus signs as they could have more relevant information for you. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just pulling all your Oracle cards. That one just definitely wanted to jump out. And look at that. You've got psychic awareness and listen to your intuition. Okay, and one more oracle card. And then I'm going to clarify everything with the tarot. So let's see. Wow, that's looking very interesting right now. Make sure you can see everything nice and clearly. There we have it, Capricorn. Right, let's get our tarot and see what this is all about. So the first card is a beautiful card, right? This is a card we always want to see coming in, especially from Spirit, Prosperity. So let's see what this Prosperity card is referring to for our lovely Capricorns. The Fool. Oh, wow. Okay. Now, guys, when we look at Prosperity card, we always usually kind of associate Prosperity with finances and money and career but with spirit prosperity can absolutely flow over into any element any aspect any facet of your life okay you can pro be prosperous in love you can be prosperous um in terms of your family relationship okay prosperity is doing incredibly well abundance okay and then we've got the full coming in all right so the fool here is telling us that wherever you are taking a leap of faith so it could be that you're starting a new relationship a new job anything where you're basically kind of you see she's kind of leaning over she's got her her, her little um cup coming in saying should i shouldn't I? and then she's still holding on it's like should i shouldn't I? should i shouldn't I? And they're saying, if you take a calculated risk, like just put yourself out there, get yourself a little bit out of the comfort zone, there's going to be, it could be a very, very prosperous leap of faith for you. It's, um, this is spirit just saying, yep, yeah, time to, time to be a little bit brave here. Okay, Capricorn, time to take a jump into a little bit of the unknown. Maybe you can't see the end of the road and that's okay, you're not meant to here. Here you're meant to take a leap of faith, believe, believe, and it's got the potential of being very, very prosperous, successful, and manifesting in the way you want it to manifest. Right, let's go ahead now and see what this psychic awareness is all about. Okay, so this is, coming through from your um, divine soul, which is telling us, we've got two cards here, which is really telling you, Capricorn, this month, please do not doubt your intuition at all. It is, I don't want to jump. Sorry, guys, I'm just going to take this one. It was wanted to jump, so I'm going to take that. The Ace of Pentacles. Okay, there is definitely something very new here. You've got the Fool and you've got the Ace of Pentacles. Um, it's, it's for a lot of you with, with the Ace of Pentacles, it's just, it's something like, like with the full card, it's the potential is there as how it will grow and, and the roots that you will now put down and nurture and flourish is entirely up to you, but you are getting this absolute wonderful opportunity that can lead to prosperity guys. The divine soul comes in with psychic awareness is telling you don't second guess yourself if it feels right if your gut feeling is like you know what i can do this it feels right i'm going to put myself out there in what just take it as it uh, as it resonates for you in the relevant areas of your life don't doubt yourself you have got two confirmation cards telling you that whatever there's there's something happening here in, in, with a brand new beginning a brand new but it might feel a little bit uncomfortable because you know of course everything brand new when you can't there's no set outcome you don't know what's going to be but for some reason it's coming through here that they, you're going to probably feel a little bit 
I'll give you an example, guys, because I, I just want to make it clear what I'm trying to explain to you. Perhaps in a past um, relationship, you got really, really hurt, okay? And now the, somebody crosses your path who is just perfect, but you've got this kind of residue from this old relationship and you're like, wow, am I ready for this? Am I not ready for this? Really, the truth is only you are going to be, on to, uh, be able to answer it. But I can see here, it looks amazing. It looks like it can really go far. If you take it, plant the, and, and nourish the roots, it could end up with prosperity. But the big message from spirit is you will know what to do. You've got psychic awareness and you've got your, listen to your intuition. Your intuition is spot on, guys, spot on. And you can just ask yourself, close your eyes and say, how do I feel? Does this feel like something I'm going to feel right? And just imagine it and see how you're feeling. And then you're going to get your answer loud and clear. And we've got the page of swords here coming in with you listen to your intuition which even tells you you know you might want to do other things to really get a strong feel about whatever this great opportunity is and spirit is coming in saying you know maybe just um if you have to meditate visualize like i'm saying really whatever it takes for you to tap in and get a clear answer from your intuition you're going to find the answer the answer will present itself just try various different things it's not a problem you know, like for some of us, we can just like meditate or um, visualization also could be like a great one. Remember, I said just picture yourself maybe in this new job. How does it feel going to work when you walk in, the people you're walking with? Does it feel good? Do you like the environment? Do you like the people? This is going to give you the answer you're looking for. Okay, your intuition is not going to let you down. Then we've got the boundaries card, okay? Where do you need to establish better boundaries? So that's quite interesting. Let's see what that is referring to. Okay, oh, it's just jumping. I'm just going to just shuffle again. I just don't want too many cards to jump. All right, King of Swords. Okay, I tell you what this is, guys. This boundaries is I think a lot of people are going to have a lot to say about whatever this offer is, this opportunity coming in. You're going to have a lot of people giving their advice, their two cents worth. And listen, I'm sure it's coming from a really, really good place, a really, really good place. But you need to channel the King of Swords here. Now, can you see how he sits on top of the mountain? OK, he's got the wise owl near him. He's just got his hair blowing in the wind and he, he just contemplates and thinks for himself. This is a time where you just need to find the answer for yourself. I think when it comes to boundaries, whoever comes in and says, oh, you should do this, you should do that. And what about this? And what about that? You know, you can just say thanks and, you know, to just basically do what you want to do or just be very clear and say this is something that I'm doing on my own. I'm tapping into my own inner wisdom, my own inner intuition because I know at the end of the day I'm the person who's going to make the decision and walk the, and walk the road whatever the consequence may bring. Oh very nice, very strong. Right, so what I want to do now is pull one more energy card to see the energy that Spirit would like you to work with this month. Okay, Capricorns, let's see what we have for you. Hawk Spirit. Let Spirit be your guide. And look what we have here. Look what we have here. We've got the Hawk. It's going to, guys, it, uh, I'm not even going to say Hawks, but Birds. Birds. Can you see we've got the owl here, we've got the hawk here, we've got the hawk here. If you see birds, any kind of birds, in, in terms, but not, not, not regular birds, okay? So I'm not, don't, I'm not saying they have to be wildly exotic birds, but you know, sometimes we always see our regular birds when we're out and about. It's just regular birds in terms of our environment. But if you see a bird that's different, okay? Maybe their coloring's different, but a complete, like a different species, it's a very big sign, guys. A very big sign that spirits with you, guiding you, loving you, and let them be your guide. Just ask, even your meditations and your visualizations, when you're tapping into your um, intuition, just say, Spirit, just guide me to make the best decision possible. 
beautiful, beautiful reading. I hope you enjoyed it. I, uh, and if you did, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel and give it a thumbs up. And I'm sending you all lots of love.